Hello everyone. Let us provide the solution to this problem completely. We have 2n to the power of 3 minus 16 to the power of... Um, okay, minus 16 equal to 0. To solve this problem, we can divide all true by 2. Divide this by 2. This will go here. And then n to the power of 3 minus 16 over 2 is 8 this is now equal to 0 now the next thing is for us to you know express 8 in index form right so n to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 3 is equal to 0 now if this is the case then we can apply the standard that if you have a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3 this should give a minus b into a squared plus a b plus b squared okay so from here now our a is n and b is 2 so that means here we have n minus 2 in this bracket then in the second we are going to have a squared which, which will now be n squared plus ab, which will now be 2 times n, then plus b squared, which will now be n. Okay, b is 2, right? Okay, that means here we are having 2 squared. Close this bracket and equate this to 0. Now, what do I do from here? We have n minus 2, and then in here I have n squared, plus 2n plus 4 equal to 0. Now we apply 0 product rule. So either of this will be equal to 0. Now let me pick this um, quadratic expression and equate it to 0. So I have n squared plus 2n plus 4 equal to 0. This is now a quadratic equation and we can use formula to solve this. The formula is n equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac and the whole of this is over 2a. By the way, remember that the unknown variable here is what will be the subject of the formula, right? So that from here, our n will be b is 2, so I have minus 2. Then plus or minus, I have 2 squared minus 4 times A times C, and our C is 4. Right? So, if I continue with this, I will divide this by 2 times 1. Now, to continue, N will be minus 2 plus or minus, then I have 4 minus 16. This will be over 2. To continue, n will be minus 2 plus or minus square root of negative 12. And the whole of this will be over 2. Now, we do not have to cancel out these two yet because this will also work for this, right? So from here, n will be equal to minus 2 plus or minus. Then we have um, square root of 12 multiplied by square root of minus 1. This is over 2. Now, what is 12? n here is minus 2 plus or minus square root of 4 multiply by 3. Then multiply by square root of negative 1. We have square root of negative 1 over here, right? The whole of this is over 2. Now, to continue, n will be minus 2 plus or minus square root of 4 you know we can split this as well so we have square root of 4 then multiply by square root of 3 multiply by square root of negative 1 and then remember that the whole of this will be over 2 right now i will continue on this side Okay, let me continue from here. 
so I have n to be equal to now we have minus 2 so I write minus 2 here plus or minus it's not showing plus or minus square root of 4 will give 2 and then square root of 3 will still appear and square root of negative 1 will give us i so let's write our i over here now the whole of this is over 2 from here 2 can go there and 2 can go here so we have n to be equal to minus 1 plus or minus we have um i'll write the i first so i have i then i have square root of 3 this is okay this is all we have this over 2 has been cancelled out right now to continue with this we can say that our n is equal to minus 1 plus i root 3 or n is equal to minus 1 plus okay minus we've already picked positive so this is negative now we have i root uh, 3 right now from here okay so from here we have two values of n right so we have this but remember none of these values of n is um, a real solution okay these two are complex solution to get the real solution we will go back to this um expression n minus 2 right and we shall equate this to 0 as well because both of them or either of them must be equal to 0 so the expression is um, n minus 2 and we shall equate this to 0 to give us a linear equation so from here n is equal to 0 plus 2 right and then to continue from here, our n is now equal to 2. Now, this is the real solution to this problem. But I want to bring the three solutions together. Now, this is where I will write them. Okay, the three solutions. The first, let's say n1 is equal to 2. Then n2 is equal to minus 1 plus square root of 3. You know there's i here then n3 is equal to minus 1 minus i square root of 3 so these are the three solutions to the equation thank you for watching and do well to share this to your friends